Bad weather was once again forecast for stage six of the Giro d'Italia as the riders left central Marche and headed right to the southern border with Abruzzo. Starting just outside the caves in Frasassi and finishing up above Ascoli Piceno, the final climb would be 15 kilometers long and the hardest uphill finish we've had so far at this Giro. The 160 kilometer run started aggressively. Attacks from the off, plenty of them too. It would take quite a while for the break to form. Mate Mohoric pulling things along. Initially, six riders getting there, and then it would be an odyssey for Balcom Mollema and Geoffrey Bouchard to try and join them. Join them they eventually did. Eight riders up the road with Bouchard taking the maximum points on the first categorized climb of the day. Behind in the peloton, they'd given a maximum gap of five and a half minutes. But the Ineos Grenadiers pulling things on the descent, the Maglia Rosa losing the wheel alongside Domenico Pozzovivo and many others, and then in the crosswinds, the Ineos Grenadiers would really put the hammer down. Petiol, Ciccone and Bardet went away on the descent. And they'd be chased by Filippo Ganna was almost a team time trial at stages for the Ineos Grenadiers. Ciccone and company were soon caught just before the base of the final climb. Mohoric's job was done a couple of k's into that climb. Cataldo, Molima and Medo were left. A bizarre, worrying incident saw the bike exchange team car knock over Peter Seri. He'd luckily get back on his bike, but understandably be very angry. 3.3 kilometers to go, and Meda would attack both Cataldo and Molima. The two veterans couldn't find any response to the young 24-year-old, and Martinez started the hostilities from the peloton. The Mallarosa already 15 minutes down at this stage. We'd be having a new leader, but who would win the stage? Bernal himself then attacked. He took Ciccone, Evenepoel and Vlasov with him. The latter unable to withstand the pace, and only Dan Martin would get across. Meda's time gap was coming down. But inside the final kilometre, he managed to hang on, despite Bernal applying the pressure. And just months after being denied in the final metres at Paris-Nice, Meda eventually became a professional bike race winner at a grand tour nonetheless, and just 24 hours after losing their leader, Bahrain victorious bounce back. Bernal finished second, Martin third, Evenepoel and Ciccone with him, and then another gap to the next bunch of favourites. Small gaps all the way through in a shake-up of the GC. Meda winning the stage by 12 seconds from Bernal, Martin, Evenepoel and Ciccone. Then Caruso, Martinez, Soler, Carthy and Vlasov at just under half a minute. The Maglia Rosa coming down a long way down. The new Maglia Rosa, Attila Walter, who became the first ever Hungarian to lead one of cycling's grand tours. Just 22 years of age and Walter ahead of Evenepoel by just 11 seconds, with Bernal moving up into third at 16 seconds. The hunt, the race, the fight for pink is definitely on the Giro d'Italia. Top 20 still separated by only two minutes. And on stage seven, the sprinters should get another opportunity. The race hitting the coast on a couple of occasions before just one climb in Chieti. They then hit the coast again and head very much south. The wind may be playing a factor though on the way to Termoli. 181 kilometers, stage seven of the Giro d'Italia with a brand new leader in the shape of Attila Walter.